feel like a brain talk. My sense of feel for both my brain and body forms my understanding of self. The connection between my body and my brain drives the flow of energy, actions, and emotions. Neural interaction between the two create a dynamic loop. Dynamic loop. Backward speed and forward speed is after you've allowed your brain to take the lead because the brain takes the lead and it sends forward feet. And that's how you respond. So if you're an athlete and you're driven in the ball and you say you're going to zone, your brain takes over, not your body. Your brain takes over. And if you resist, you hurt yourself because the brain is doing things creatively because you thought of it beforehand, but now it's put it into play. So you reflect on the past experience, say, well, you know, the brain has to be allowed to take the lead because you're asking the brain to go work. Go to the next level. It can't go to the next level if you're resisting. That's what I'm saying. You must cooperate. We will discuss the brain's body and explore strategies to mitigate the increasing prevalence of pain, hurt, and sadness affecting our youth using human system science and communications theory, how the brain interacts with the body, how the body interacts with the mind, how the senses connect brain and body exchanges. Dr. Slayton Live, let me explain why and how I built up human system science from Bloom's taxonomy of learning. Have you ever wondered how and why certain children, youths, and young adults moving through their home, school, and their workplace networks can grow up lacking a sense of the consequences for their behaviors. This is how I built up human system science by studying the sense and receive path functions of children known to have been born to parents who used drugs while they were in utero. Learn, grow, and connect. Your brain, body, and sense functions as social organs Sense and receive path functions transfer brain and body connections to a sense of feel for the experience between self, other people, and the environment. What I call process loops. The way you make contact, interact, cooperate, and participate connects how you sense and receive information between your sense of self and your sense of feel for the neurophysics of self and your brain. This is why I can study brain, body, and sense messaging. Human science has led to concepts like the brain's body, brain talk, and reflective storytelling. Welcome to Dr. Slayton Live. The brain's body, the ultimate experience. Where you learn more about reflective storytelling, how the brain talks back, Slayton 2024. Brain talk, how the brain responds through forward feed, Slayton, 2023. The brain is the body. How your sense of feel is the neurophysics of self. Slayton, 2022. Why human system science meetings. We provide platforms to discuss issues like the crisis of self. A grandparent once sought my help for her granddaughter, who was abused by her father as an infant and exposed to drugs in utero. Human system science studies brain, body, and sense connections, confirming that her sensory and cognitive pathways were upset by parental neglect and abuse from birth, by the inability to transform sensory input into social and cognitive development, by her resistance to social and academic training for preferred mental states, education and science in the best interest of the child, Slayton, 2016, pain, hurt, Sadness. The child experienced signs of pain, hurt, and sadness. The primary struggle within her sense of self was understanding the question, why me? Through reading, writing, drawing, acting, and performing curriculums, without directly discussing the crisis of self, the child realized what had happened through reflective storytelling shared by peers. This realization led to accepting help with this caveat to protect her brain's body from further harm, only through signs of care. Human Systems Science Meetings, featuring Dr. Christopher K. Slayton. April 10, 2025, Introduction to Human Systems Science, 
10 a.m. to 12 p.m. April 11, 2025, Demonstrations of Brain, Body, and Sense Messaging. April 12, 2025, Healing Products of Human Systems Research. Topics addressed, the crisis of self, changes in family, ways to enhance life inside the home, changes in education, ways to enhance learning in school, changes in government, ways to enhance thinking in the neighborhood, changes in business, ways to enhance responses in the workplace, changes in the economy, ways to enhance health, wealth, and wellness. Who should participate? Parents, teachers, health and human service professionals, community-based organizations, business leaders, support providers, family representatives, education officials, activists, workforce trainers, experience human system science, reflective storytelling, the crisis of self, explore how the brain, body, and senses communicate. Dr. Slayton presents advanced theories on how brain-body interactions enhance learning, examining the synergy between emotion, cognition, and physical action. Discover the loops of your sensory processes and pathways. The crisis of self. When you cannot stop thinking about what happened, you are in a reflective state of mind. When your sense or receive path is hurt by negative flows of energy, action, or feelings you need to learn how to come to terms with self-care. Thinking through feelings of hurt require process loops. A process loop is a brain and body connection to backward and forward flows of annoying emotion, thought, or reflection, such as how the body lives through, how the brain learns through, and how the senses respond through signs of care. Do you feel the crisis of self? Start the healing process from where you are in the crisis of self. Dr. Slayton Liv talks about self-healing from the acceptance of cause and effect to engage the brain in reflective storytelling to help you move through the way you feel. The brain releases bent-up social and cognitive energy through a sense of feel for the experience of care. This is where the brain talks back to help you realize the crisis of self. How you look, feel, and talk is characterized by signs of tension, stress, and pressure between the ability to sense and the capacity to receive feelings of emotion or thought. The Holistic Wellness Approach In the context of human system science, the way you look, feel, and talk describes trained states of responding to tension, stress, and pressure. You may look ugly on the outside when you feel bad on the inside, which affects how the brain talks back through a sense of feel for self. You can observe the flow of emotions like anger, fear, and anxiety. This is energy, action, and feelings of the brain's response to external stimuli and social interactions, which can influence both physics of self and the neurophysics of self. Help 2. Save Our Youth Leading children, youths, and young adults and parents to learn ways to navigate personal crises. Learning how to make sense of changes in the family. 1. Action learning inside the home. Learning how to make sense of changes in education. 2. Action learning inside the school. Learning how to make sense of changes in government. 3. Action learning inside the neighborhood. Learning to make sense of changes in business. 4. Action learning inside the workplace. Learning how to make sense of changes in the economy. 5. Action learning to synthesize performance for health, wealth, and wellness. Learning goals for navigating personal crises. 1. Understand your role in enhancing home life amidst family changes. 2. Improve learning in school during educational changes. 3. Enhance problem solving in the neighborhood amid local changes. 4. Boost workplace responsiveness during professional changes. 5. Optimize performance for strength, prosperity, and fitness during economic shifts. Subscribe now. Do not forget to like the video. And subscribe to our channel for a free invite to the upcoming Dr. Slayton Live. Book signing. The Brain's Body Showcase at slaytonlive.com.